So I went with a different type of marble. I didn't like that one I got from the home store because it was actually um, it was actually manufactured. It wasn't actually real marble, so it was softer. I was able to scratch. This marble here we got its flooring. Uh, found it on Craigslist again, which is awesome. Got it for two dollars and fifty cents a tile. Uh, normally these tiles are anywhere from eleven to fifteen dollars each. They have some granite we're going to go pick up that was twenty dollars a tile, but that's another story. So, how I'm going to do this is these tiles here are going to meet the front edge of this. Then the next tile will come up. I'll put a little bit of grout in here. All the tiles are going to touch, and then this tile will come here. And then we'll have a little piece that goes here. And then on the other side, over here, we'll have a tile over here, then another tile here, and then over here, we'll have another uh, little piece. So I'll leave the little cuts next to the sink. Okay. So all I'm doing is cleaning off this countertop. Going to mix up some mud, mix up some mortar, and go ahead and uh, start laying some tile.
don't cry Everything's gonna be just fine And I promise to always be there for you And girl, don't cry, I stand by So it's time to put on the this border down here and get the tiles put on these corners on the sink. I've already cut all of the tile that needed to be cut for the sink. That's what these are. I've laid them out in the right position. This will be the back left, front left, things like that. So once we get the mortar put down, um, they're going to go in here. Let's have a a look at this one for example now will sit right in right in there and it will be nice and even then this middle tile here will get cut a certain length to meet this other tile here it's going to go in oh sorry I, hit, I had another piece here too so then what I'll do is cut another piece. I'll probably make this, um, let me see if I want to, yeah, no, that'll be nice right there. Sometimes if you have a middle like this, you put one tile in the center and then you put little tiles, but it'll be too small to make it centered with the sink. But as you can see, this tile is almost on the center line and just there will be that. So it'll be just fine the way it's gonna be. So that's it, you can see we have a little problem here so what we'll have to do is before put this tile down and see this grout sticking up and in here and stuff we'll have to clean up all that edge before we put down all those tiles now the fronts what are we going to do in the fronts let's have a look at that so this is all the tile that we cut for the fronts it's right here each one of these i put a little uh, a little beveled edge on it on the top and the bottom just put that in the saw and this is going to go on right there just like that and then there'll be a little gap in the top and we're going to put a little uh, grout in that little gap now if you notice it's not real polished on this top edge right here well I'm going to come along later with a uh, stone a little wet uh, polisher and I'm just going to polish that and polish that while it's already on the counter and that way all these will be just as uh, smooth and shiny as the surface that's not a big deal so what that'll give us is it'll give us a good bull nose it'll also give us an inexpensive one because a tile like this in the store with a little bull nose on it like that these things could run anywhere from six to eight dollars each well, I paid $2.50 per tile, and I got five of these pieces out of one tile. That way you didn't pay that much for them, and then I do have to polish them. That's going to be a little bit of a, a fun thing later. Now, these are the backsplash. Let's look at the backsplash tile. These will come along and put right up against the back there. And that uh, will then go all along. We're first going to put um, grout back in this here to make it nice and level. And what that will do for us is that will get something to support this on uh, when we put it in. And I also still have to put the backer board up against the wall. But I'm going to grout that first. And uh, um, then I'm going to put the backer board up against the wall. That way I have something to set everything on. And that'll be, the, that'll be the back of it. Now what I did with these is I measured the saw so that I took three of these, one, two, and three, um, out of a tile. So if you could see, if I set these down here, might not be real easy to see. Set this aside here, but you set these down, 
you could see there's a, a tile right here, right? So this is the width of a tile. So if you take out the width of the saw, I took three pieces out of one piece of tile. And uh, I still have not cut the, the bull nose in them. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is for this house, the tile has a finish edge right here. So every time I cut three of these out of a tile, two pieces, this piece and this piece, were an edge piece, and the middle one didn't have any edge on it. So what I'm going to do is, this is the edge side here, and this side here is what I cut. Well, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the cut side is a little rough. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put the edge up. Now, it is not uh, polished on this side, but it is polished on the little edge that comes across. So we should be good. And then we're going to go ahead and put on another set of tile or something else for a backer board above this. So this side right here doesn't have to be polished, but this little corner, this little uh, corner here, 45 degree, is already polished. So that's going to be how all of that's going to be. Then I'm going to take the other pieces that don't have uh, that don't have edges on them. These two do, but I'm going to take the other pieces that don't have edges, and we'll end up putting edges on those and use those for another project. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, one more thing, let me get something under. Okay, so when we put this on right here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of tape, a couple pieces of tape, hold it in place, make sure it's level. <clears throat> that way it doesn't uh, fall off the front edge. So that's what we're going to be doing today and uh, get all started and uh, see what it looks like. One thing I almost forgot to mention is, you know, I'm putting a corner tile here, tile, small little piece, another tile. I did not put the four tiles in this corner right here. And the reason I didn't do that is because the spacing between this tile and this space and this well by the time i put the other corner piece on here i really wouldn't know where to set these tiles in place so i'm going to have to put this corner piece in place that corner piece in place straighten them all up on on a line and then i can put these four in place that's why i haven't done that yet and you can see on this side we've already started it that way we keep these tiles bumped up against each other the way we want to do it. You can see I don't have any grout lines in here. All the tiles are bumped up against each other and we're going to use an unsanded grout because these lines are so small. And in the back here, I'm going to use sanded grout because the lines are so big. Okay, So that way I'll put the tiles here. I really won't care too much about these spaces, but I'll care about these tiles that go in here and then what that'll do for me is I'll measure the distance between this side to that side to make sure they're even. And then when I put these in place, then I know the next tiles can go after that. One thing before we uh, grout is I'm going to put a piece of tape across that back edge. I'm going to go all the way around with it. I haven't done that yet. To stop the grout from getting on the tile and from getting in these little seams right here. I'm going to do that. And then on the front side, so it doesn't get on the drawers, I'm just going to put a piece of tape right on the top of the drawers. And I didn't bother to clean them off. I left it dirty because I don't want the tape to stick, right? So I just put the tape right on top of all that dust. You just put a piece of tile up top here, put some tape in the front, tape it to the tile, make sure you put some tape in the back, attach it, and then underneath, just attach it underneath, and what this does is it keeps it level with the table automatically. That's what I should have done in the first place, but so we did here, so it worked out pretty well. And uh, that's about it with the front bull nose. Now what I'm going to do is back here, fill all this in with the grout all on the back of the countertops and get ready to put the backer board on. Now, the reason I'm putting the grout in is because there's such a big gap here that I don't want to have the grout running up against the tile that's here and, and be real tall. So I'm going to put enough grout in here, then the backer board is going to come out a half inch or a quarter inch, sorry, and then the tile is going to come out. So 
it's going to leave just a little gap that you're going to see in here. So I don't have to really grout the whole thing, but I at least have to grout about three quarters of it. And, uh, and that's all that's going to be seen. It also gives me a nice uh, watertight seal when I grout back uh, to the back edge of this. I think I have enough in the bucket. I'll probably just do it all the way to the back. Okay, that's it. So got this all in. I threw some grout back in here and you could see there's still a little bit more I needed because I had to put this tile in right here. So I'm going to fill a little bit more in there. And then what I'll do is I'm going to put the rest of the grout in here and I'll just come along with the sponge and everything. But that's why I put the blue painter's tape. Now I put that down all the way along the counters. As you can see, this is the painter's tape I got. It was just a Dollar Tree, all right? So I put three lines of the painter's tape and then I had this other scotch tape or mas masking tape I just put on top. There was no reason for it. I just want to make sure all the painter's tape is going to be stuck uh, together when I bring it up. So that's what I did. And on the top part, I'm about to put tape, but what I did here was I just held my pencil and just ran along it all the way around to here. And then what I'll do is I'll put the painter's tape on it, uh, get this corner right here. And as you can see, that way I know where it's flat, where it's flat. And I only want to grout up to that point. So when I put the tape on it, it'll keep the grout off the wall and it'll allow me to grout and keep it nice and flat. So I know where to put the tape. And then when I pull the tape off, when the grout is still wet, it'll be a nice straight smooth line all the way around. Okay. Everything's done. The bull nose is now in. And I still need to polish this front somehow. Still haven't figured out how to do that. And as you see, I put the granite next to each other. So we're going to try a different way to uh, grout all of that. So I'll show you what we're doing with the grout. This is going to be what I'm going to try to use here. And this is some uh, um, grout that has silicone in it. And it's un sanded you want to make sure you have unsanded and what that means is it's going to allow me to get inside these little bitty cracks sanded grout which is this grout over here see it says sanded grout that is the grout that i'm going to use for the bigger cracks okay so unsanded smaller cracks sanded for the bigger cracks i'm about to put the sanded in the bucket here and see about getting all of those edges done in the top of the backsplash. So we'll see how that goes.